don't do youtube for money don't do youtube for money you will fail even before you begin hey my loves welcome back to my channel my name is Twanelo and if you're new here hello and welcome please please be part of my family by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the notification bell so that you can be informed each time I upload a new video and of course if you are coming back for another video welcome back sweetie thank you so much for joining us so in today's video I will be sharing with you the things that I wish I knew before starting my channel. So it's sort of a reflection of how much progress I have made so far with my channel. I literally have about 10 to 11 months on YouTube, I think, and around about 30 to 31 videos. So I'm not really, you understand, with like 430 subscribers. So. I'm still getting there, but there are quite a lot of things that I learned that I wish someone had told me before starting YouTube. Even though there were uh, videos about this prior to me uh, having my or creating my YouTube channel, I've watched them. But when you start actually doing the work, that's when you realize, oh, that's what you were talking about. Oh. So I'm just here to, I don't know, be to scrutinize my channel and to help you know the things to avoid or the mistakes not really mistakes but things that can just help you make your youtube journey much more smoother you understand so without wasting any more time please let's get straight into the video <laughs> the first one and i'm starting with this one because i feel like most people do it i have also done it uh, which is comparing your channel to another youtuber's channel you understand and sometimes it might be a youtuber who is in the same niche as you are so you might try to compare your channel with theirs so this is what happened to me as well i created my channel let's say may right and this girl I know her very well she created hers around June and while I was still nipping for 150 subscribers she shot 200 in the first week and then and then when I tried to blink she's already on 300 the next thing I know she's on 400 now at times I was like okay why why what's up with her channel you understand and that can demoralize you so bad it can just put you off but don't do that don't compare your channel to somebody else's channel they might grow within the first three months they might get be monetized within the first three months and everything and you're still there like you just feel like oh my goodness what's going on but don't allow that remember that comparison is a thief of joy you started your channel for yourself not for anyone else so don't compare your channel or your growth with another youtuber's channel the second thing i learned is as serious as youtube is it's not that serious it's not that deep like you literally don't have to have everything figured out you don't have to know everything you understand you don't need a camera when you start you don't need editing software you don't need the most expensive um lighting um equipment you don't need all those things because when you put your when you tell yourself oh my goodness i need a camera i need soft boxes i need uh, this kind of editing software you're never going to start because sometimes you might not just even get all those things and you just going to procrastinate and just putting it off and you never ever going to start your first video which will just literally move you up you're just not going to start so you don't have to have everything start with what you have i promise you it will work out in the end the third one i wish i knew is being myself it is true when you start um youtube Obviously, it's quite overwhelming and it's a bit scary and you don't know where to start So it's okay to try and see how this one does her videos or how she edits or what kind of music she uses It's okay, but you don't have to completely take another person's style or how they talk because the last thing you want is people saying you remind me of so and so We don't want that. We want you to be yourself 
to be Tuanelo as I am. It's true when you start, you're not gonna be comfortable from the get go because obviously you're still not used to being in this kind of setup. But as time goes by, you will literally be comfortable and you will get used to it so don't try to be someone else be who you are because as time goes the way you speak will get better how you voice yourself out will be better so don't try to be anyone else just be you be authentic and true to yourself because the moment you try to be someone else it's going to show because now you're not going to be able to maintain the momentum. You started off with this pace as, as portraying yourself as this person. And now when you get comfortable, you're now getting into your own shell and the, your viewers are going to see right through you. They're going to say, okay, wow, who is this one? I beg. You understand? So that's the last thing we want. Be authentic and be real to yourself. Now, this next one is almost similar to what I, I just talked about, about being yourself be confident don't be scared you know there are those there are some youtubers i've seen like you would literally want to go and hug the girl like oh my goodness i'm so sorry why did you do this you understand so as overwhelming as it might be try by all means to be confident don't be scared there's literally nothing to be scared of i remember with me when i started i am such an extrovert I'm such an extrovert, like I'm out there. But honey, this platform will humble you to a certain level because now you have to get used to speaking to the camera. And I'm out here all loud, speaking to myself with no one. Don't think of it like that. Don't think of it like that. Think as if you already have an audience. I'm already seeing my 430 subscribers in front of me. I am addressing those people. I'm talking to you right now. Like, have you eaten? Are you good? Are you, are you safe? You understand? You, you, you converse with your audience. So the moment you think as if, oh my goodness, I look so stupid right now. I'm talking to myself. Mm -mm. You are talking to your audience. You are talking to your viewers. You are talking to people who subscribe to your channel. You're talking to people who are not subscribed to your channel. You're talking to people who might subscribe to your channel. So be comfortable because the moment you're not comfortable, we see that, we get that vibe and it's not good. The next one is equally as important, like learn the basics. Learn the basics about everything that has to do with YouTube. Let me tell you, it's not about sitting here, filming a video, editing it and uploading it. There is much more to YouTube than that. Remember, you're doing everything for yourself. You're filming, you're editing, you have to make sure your hair is good, your makeup is proper, your outfit is picked, the sound is good, the lighting is good, the equipment is ready. That is a lot that is a lot so don't just go into the youtube space with the, uh, the thing of i create content i take it out that's it there's just so many elements behind it unless you're just one of those fortunate ones who have videographers i mean not all of us are like lee kuzwa you're like i wish i had a videographer who did everything for me but when you're starting off i doubt you can so Familiarize yourself with things that are necessary for your growth on YouTube and to make your content much better. You understand? Because I know when I started, everything was upside down. So I had to learn as I create more videos. I haven't like made a lot of videos, but so far I can literally tell the difference from my first video up until right now. So familiarize with yourself with these things. Go on YouTube, there's a lot of videos that can just teach you how to edit, you know, what to do to get your quality better. There are a lot of information, a lot of videos that you can use. So learn the basics. Knowing the basics is very, very important. So just learn the basics. You, I'm not saying you have to be an expert because you can't be an expert in everything, but the basics that need to be understood and I'd hire to make sure you're there. The next one is don't be a perfectionist. Now, this hits home for me because it's quite personal to me. I have been struggling for years 
with this struggle of trying to be a perfectionist it's so bad to a point or rather it was so bad to a point where if i feel i'm not going to be able to do something 110 percent i am not going to do it at all so it is a bad thing to have it's not good to a certain extent it's good but like overall it is not you understand because being a, a perfectionist is associated or rather it was associated with my fear for failure so when i think if i'm not going to be able to do this 110 percent that means i'm going to fail and that just makes you question your abilities it makes you question yourself like okay so i'm not good enough to do this why even bother doing it it is not a good quality to have trust me i know i've worked on it and i'm getting better don't be a perfectionist because besides youtube with life in general you no matter how much effort time and resources you put into something it can never be 100 percent perfect it can never we are all sinners we are imperfect and we lack the ability to be perfect so we're still waiting on god's kingdom to come to rectify the situation but until then don't be a perfection and one thing about youtube is that your first video will be your worst video i guarantee you i tell you go and do that video and come back to me and let's check that video i'll tell you your first video will be your worst i know my video was so floppy it's so embarrassing but i'm gonna leave it there because that's how i keep track of my progress that's how i check my improvements my what what um my quality has improved my sound has improved my lighting has improved because my phone was even um facing is it is it is it vertical or horizontal i don't know but like it was not on par with youtube standard you understand my first video was floppy because i remember i just woke up and was like girl you are going to film this video and i'm glad i did no matter how floppy it is now i am glad i did that decision i made that decision to wake up and make that video because i wouldn't be where i am now i wouldn't be at my 30th video now if i didn't start with my first and that's the only way you monitor your progress there's no way you can progress further if you didn't start somewhere you understand so the more you upload the more better you become the more you improve on your skills and if I didn't do it, I wouldn't know what I know now. I wouldn't be sitting where I am now. It's true, I'm not yet 100% comfortable um, in front of the camera. I'm still getting used to it, but it's so much better than my first video, of which is all that we need. We improve gradually as we go. But one thing about this is don't focus too much on being so good that you feel so much pressure. Do you boo, create videos, have fun and learn as you go. Learn as you go. Don't want to, you know, okay, I want to cram this. I want to know this. I want to, because it's not going to work. You're not going to have fun that way. It's not going to be um, something fun to do. It's going to be pressure. And the last thing we need is pressure because you're going to feel fatigued. The next one is, this one is so true because yeah, it is youtube is a lifetime job youtube is a lifetime job you have to make sure you in it for the long term you have to make sure you love it you have to make sure you have the love of creating content because youtube is not your typical nine to five and knocking at nine knock off at five no you constantly have to create content especially if there's something happening in between your niche you have to sit down be in front of that camera create content edit out next that's literally how youtube is and because youtube there's no there's no knockoff time with youtube you might get so overwhelmed right so it's very important to strike a balance between your personal life and youtube because once you take youtube as a job it, it will make things easier you know you know okay this one this is my personal life this is youtube you need to know to separate the two from each other so at a certain point you need to switch off your camera switch off the laptop 
and unwind and relax you understand because if you constantly feel so pressured to create content to a point where you don't relax my darling you're going to be fatigued you're going to be so tired and fed up that by the time you have to go back to youtube it's now two months or three months you're so demoralized you don't want to go back in so don't overexert yourself in the name of being consistent and trying to create content and having content all the time so prioritize youtube in in its own place put youtube in its own place there's your life there's youtube there's there's your life there's work work is youtube so don't overexert yourself or over work yourself all in the name of trying to be so consistent i don't know how you will do it like some people will like every day they want to upload a video it's difficult youtube is difficult youtube is not easy whoever said youtube is easy was lying no matter how much you love and how much passion you have for it it is a lot of work it is a lot and it will end up affecting your mental health and that's the last thing you want that's the last thing you want trust me so always strike a balance okay and then there's this one don't do youtube for money don't do youtube for money you will fail even before you begin i am telling you this will be an epic fail let me tell you right now youtube is a long term investment that's it period point blank so don't think that now you're on youtube the first month you're gonna make money my darling people have taken six months some have taken a year some two years and i know of a very big youtuber now who took three years literally three years so it goes back to the point i talked about make sure you love making videos make sure you love creating content because if you in it for the wrong reasons you are not gonna last that is why some people always say youtube is not for everyone because someone comes on youtube and with the idea of i'm gonna make so much money so they do youtube they do this they do this they do this they buy this expensive equipment and everything and now they don't see the return on the investment and they're like screw it you understand so don't be don't make youtube for the money yes there's money here <laughs> but make sure you love it first you have to have the love for youtube first before you can think of the money let the money be something at the back of, my, of your mind just keep it at the back of your mind that there is a possibility of making money but don't do it for the money do it for you and for your passion period point blank now we just talked about don't go on you don't go on youtube for money now you need to be prepared to invest your own money for the success of your channel okay as like we said when you started you don't have to have everything all at once when you begin but as time goes by because what i said was you don't have to have the cameras and everything because sometimes you're not even sure if you love youtube so now imagine if you have started buying all these equipment and after two videos you're like nah this is not for me what then what then so only start investing on your channel once you show this is what you want i know after my fourth or my fifth video i was like okay i need a ring light because i can't really depend on natural lighting every time because sometimes it's sunny sometimes it's raining sometimes there's this so i just needed lighting and as time goes by i'll invest in a camera right now i still use my phone there's no problem with it it's not the best quality but it's doable it's getting the job done you understand so you sometimes have to invest on your channel for example i'm doing makeup it's part of my niche lifestyle home you know every time i try i want to redecorate my room that's money because it's for my content on youtube because i, I have i have home as part of my niche i constantly have to buy new makeup to try it out on my channel with hair as well you understand so there are always these things that you need in order to make your youtube successful and for the longevity of your youtube career 
you understand so be prepared to spend money for your channel if you're not prepared for that then this is not for you my darling so when i started my channel i had this thing of my niche is oversaturated i am here to tell you there is space for all of us there is space for all of us there is no such thing as oversaturated the market doesn't have you yes for example on youtube there are these two youtubers i love it's monday sampotang and miss Ko. they do hair tutorials hair reviews and everything but they are two different people sometimes they collaborate with different i mean the same brands but the way they um put it out it's totally different because they're two different personalities so it's the same with you and it was the same with me someone can do this this a certain way and you're gonna do it your way because we are different people are gonna fall in love with your personality and with the quality that you have no matter how many people are doing it it's not you so don't let that one don't be intimidated by the fact that oh well, there's so many people here it's so oversaturated everyone is doing this my darling there is space for you there's space for you all you need to do is work hard work hard create your own table create your own room create your own space and be there be there so number 11 is have a business email like when i tell you i was in tears i was crying be good bad be good tricky be good tense because wow i'm telling you guys it's so important and i didn't realize that it's going to be so important because i have this email where people the, that people got or brands got from my my youtube channel right so it was an email i was using for everything for school for work for accounts everything you understand so i used this email for everything so i would get these emails from brands and they would just end up there sometimes i don't even check my emails and wow i only checked that email three months after and it was like from three hair brands it was after i did this hair tutorial and they reached out and i went on instagram and checked them out i'm like wow these people are legit so even if i respond to them now it's three months already so this one is very important and we might take it slightly but it's very important to have a business email that is separate from any other email that you have whether it's for school for work or for whatever just have a separate business email where people can reach out to you and the next one this people take for granted it's copyrighted music this one will kill you it will literally finish you off because i remember how freaked out i was the first time I received a copyright claim, I was like, no, because with YouTube, you have to think long term. Remember I said YouTube is a long term investment. So you might put in the work now, but you reap the rewards in future, right? Because copyrighted music is music that has copyrights to it. You can't use it without buying the rights or having the permission from the artists to use their music so what i normally do is with your intro song you might get away with it by probably using a, a song a popular song that you love but only stick to like five to seven seconds like you can get away with it but as for background music don't even think of it because once youtube gives you the copyright claim and you eventually get monetized my darling if you made five hundred dollars or two hundred dollars on that video you're not getting a cent from it literally you're not going to get a cent from it all that is going to the copyright owner you understand so you literally lost money because of somebody else's music and there are so many music um pages and there are many places where you can get background music for example youtube studio has music so that whatever kind of music you're going to use there you can use it for as loud as much and everything as you want because youtube will allow 
You understand? It's non-copyrighted. And there's a page here on YouTube called non-copyrighted music. You can use music from that page. There's also a page on YouTube as well. It's audio library. You can use music from that page. And then there is music you can use from your editing apps. Your iMovie, your v Vlo, or Vilo, VLLO, and in short, and many more. So there's a lot of background music that you can use that is not that is non-copyrighted. So everything with YouTube, always think long term. Always think the long term effects. Because now, if you were to go back add add ads on that video, you're not gonna be monetized if you use copyrighted music. So be very careful. Another thing you can do is if you're not sure if this music is copyright or what, you can upload your video to private. That's what I usually do to see if I'm gonna get a copyright claim. I'd upload my video but set it on private, and if I see that uh, there's no offense or whatever, there's nothing, everything is good, then I'll I'll do it on public. But if it's on um private and i still receive a copyright claim then i just go back to my video because i already know what kind of music probably uh, that got me the copyright claim so i'll either fast forward it or just take off the music and put another one and then we're good to go because that's something you need to be so careful of it looks so small but it's it can literally make or break you because once you have a lot of copyright offense youtube has the right to delete your channel so gone all your hard work gone because of music you understand yeah but there's a, another app epidemic sound that you can use as well um for music but you pay you know a fee so if you feel once you settle then you're like this youtube is for me and everything then you can invest in such you know so yeah copyrighted music let's be careful of that so that was it from me today you guys i really hope this video was helpful so before you start your channel this is a, the kind of videos you must look out for because they will really help you they'll really go a long long way but other than that i say go for it create that channel you never know what will happen so yeah, if you really in enjoyed this video, if you found it informative, please let me know in the comments. Please like this video. And if you watched this far and you still haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe to my channel because I think you benefited if you were able to watch till this far. So it won't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel. So yes, you guys, that's it from me today. That was my cup of tea. I'll definitely see you on my next video. Take care. Mwah.